on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. So, he's giving you his quirk, and you refuse to be trained by him. And you saw me out so I could train you. Yes. <laughs> Alright, well. R really? Yes. <sighs> well, I can't believe he actually had the balls to ask his best friend, his daughter. <laughs> if anything, you should be thanking me. To a certain extent. I know. Thanks for saying no to my former uncle. You're quite welcome, darling. But still. <sighs> mm. He hasn't, hasn't told you everything has he no not as far as I can tell well <clears throat> let's go as then yeah there's a bill attack what I think is it's already being dealt with by one Shinso and Toga Zuzu's been studying and checking out to see what's going on. He is a little skeptical of whether he should or shouldn't have David arrested. But he's on. Eh, he hates all might. He can't be all that bad. Now, as far as it goes for Melissa's training, Izuku decides, hell, give her the same training that they've been giving Harry. Only thing is, be more. Ruthless, considering, yeah, she, <coughs> Melissa is older than Ari. But this is about the time where Ari's pretty much like, when can I go on my hunt? I want to kill those jerks. <laughs> in due time, my child, in due time. Trust me, you never forget your first. <laughs> Funny you say that. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, uh, either way, yes, don't worry, I shall allow you to hunt down your grandfather and Chisaki, soon enough. First, we need to get her caught up to at least your level. Huh? Oh, yes, as things stand, uh, my daughter here can... Whoop your ass. Quite easily. There's no way I'd lose to a kid. <clears throat> As yes. It takes 10 seconds until Melissa has to concede defeat. Or Ari will continue the punishment. Teach me everything. Good. And so you're finished with your training? We'll commemorate this with a hunt. That, okay, okay. After she goes on her first hunt. Because right now she's unblooded. What's that mean? Yeah, it pretty much means she hasn't killed anything. At least nothing that's been worth killing. Really. Yeah, she has done uh, rabbits, small animals, and yeah, one time I actually did subdue a tiger for her to train with, but yeah, those aren't really worthy opponents. More intelligent creatures, however. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. When she killed that Siberian tiger, I was so proud. <sighs> Only thing is, she can have 
issues with uh, bloodlust. Like as soon as she gets going, it may be difficult for normal people to restrain her again. Okay. I feel like I should be worried about Aerie. Oh no, she's quite powerful, believe me. Dad, set up my hunt, please. Oh, you, you really want to get at them, don't you? Oh, yes. You really want them to pay for what they did to you. Uh-huh. You know what? Fine. Fine. Let's see how you do. Just remember, I'm not going to avenge you if they kill you. Uh, how dare you? Melissa's like, yeah, why, why, why won't you, why won't you avenge her? It's like, no, not that. The fact that he doubts me that much. Wait, so you're not upset that he wouldn't? Like, well, no, that's just how he taught me. If I lose, it will, you know, die. That just means that I was not the best hunter. So, uh, when can I get my equipment? Since you're unblooded, you will have to start with an unblooded arsenal. Which means you don't get to touch any of my weapons or armor. But, uh, but the, no buts. There's a reason why we, we started you out with such uh, weak apparel and weapons. Oh, but that uh, no buts. You can throw a tantrum all you like, but it's still much more capable of taking you out. Quirk or no quirk. Melissa, she actually wonders, like, what is this kid's quirk? Rewind. I was I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, she can rewind people. Well, living things in general. It was a real problem before we got to her. They were going to make cortical racing bullets. Technically, did. What? Oh, yeah. Would have been a real pain if those got in the hands of criminals. Wow. So, could she heal all might? Yes. But as far as things are right now, not everyone knows about my little girl's quirk. I can only imagine the kind of villains that will come after her. And that is not worth the risk. You sound like a good father. I am. I don't need your validation. As yes. Next thing we know, they get sent straight to a game planet. Which, yeah, it's a jungle, foresty area, and two drop pods show up. Hey, one for Chisaki and one for, for Ari's grandpa. As soon as they do get out of this, they're still groggy and like, oh, what the hell? Because they were in cryostasis for a hell of a long time. And considering Izuku does... Uh, believe in being a fair sport to a certain extent he has sadly given them weapons but the same classification as Ares either way it's more fair than they really want it to be despite Chisuke's quirk seriously Chisuke what were you thinking as soon as they realize where they are they had no idea. 
what happened. The villain killer, he's a hunter or something. It's... It's weird. I, why did he kill us? Because that's my job. She's he's looking like who said that? He's like old man. He's like, Ari. As yes, Ari is decked out in what you would assume to be, you know, the standard unblood armor. What are you doing here? To hunt you. She's laughing at this like a kid. Are you serious? And then she throws a knife. Uh, wait, what? As it comes straight back, you see. Uh, I'm giving you a head start. You have two minutes before I come to find you again as she's he just starts touching the ground and wait that sounds wrong and creating pillar a pillar and spikes just trying to use a take out airy it does not go as planned because she is ducking and dodging and she knows how his quirk works she has been through hell because of that quirk and Chizuki is seeing this. He sees that, oh, wait, this is not working. I better ramp it up. Not even noticing the weapons there. But Ares granddaddy, she, he notices. And he picks up whatever he can. And he runs and gets his little uh, head start. Chizuki is like, wait, boss, where are you going? He's like, I am not an idiot. She is dodging and ducking you like it's nothing. You can stay and try to get yourself killed. I'm not doing it. This is where he pretty much tries to encase the area in a mud stone prison. And he runs off. Ari, she easily breaks out of it. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, he wasted a minute and 30 seconds trying to kill me. Oh well. As yes, you can just imagine. Chisaki, he's trying to wonder like, where the hell are they? Well, the boss is... Doesn't matter. As soon as we get rid of her, then maybe we can find a way off this rock. Or wherever the hell we are. But this is pretty much when nightfall occurs. And I know they say straight in numbers, but when you know you're being hunted and you have no preparation time, you just worry about how are we going to get out of here instead of preparing for someone you know is coming for you, it has repercussions. Because next thing they know, Chizuki gets caught by a snare. And the old man almost succumbs to a pitfall trap. Luckily, since Ari didn't think about, oh yeah, I forgot about his quirk, Chisuki can get out of it easily. The old man is pretty much helped me, Chisuki, as yes, Chisuki still is a simp for the boss. Simp turned Yundere for the boss, <laughs> you know. As yes, they are pretty much trying their best to duck and dodge Ari the best they can. What they don't know is, Ari knows every single place they go. They try to hide, she's already there. She knows where they are, where they're going, and where to set a trap. The only thing is, they think they have a chance. Only. Only thing that Chisuke has to do is get close enough to touch Ari. Are you sure you will be able to? 
Yes. In which Ari, she's like, okay, she's hearing the conversation. Okay, you really think you can? You think I'm going to allow you to get that close? <laughs> we'll see about that. As it, it's now morning. This hunt has gone on for at least a week. With Izuku, Nana, even Melissa watching. Toga and Shizo are more or less training, trying to get better at their skills for their first hunt. Which Izuku deemed, eh, why not give you guys some dangerous shit before a xenomorph? Why not? Only thing is, you gotta think about it. Huh. Is she really gonna underestimate her opponents if we taught her not to? <sighs> She's our daughter. I'm sure she wouldn't dare let her go down, especially with Chisaki. Hope you're right. As yes, she's gonna be just bellowing his look out his lungs as much as he can, yelling, "I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one duel!" And honor code has been planted into Eri's mind, so she's like, "Okay, fine." One of them has a knife, and so does the other one. Is this Eri's? Quirks or no quirks? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Quirks it is. As yes, Chizuki, he's like, you have no idea what you've done. As soon as they are face to face with each other, you can just hear the clashing of knives. As Chizuki is trying his best not only to scratch, but at least get one finger on Aerie. The only thing is, she is faster, she has more training, she is also got stronger. As long as he can't touch her, that's pretty much it. And Chizuki being scared out of his mind for so long, he's starting to run low on stamina. But this is when Granddad wants to be a little bitch and distracts Eri by throwing a rock right at her horn. Giving Chizuki just what he needed to scrape past her. And with that, Eri explodes. Izuku, he's trying to keep a straight face, but right now he's feeling like punching the monitor as Nana, she's... Trying to hold back tears. Melissa is like, what the hell just happened? I thought she... But then, Izuku's face changes. As now nah, she is still yelling and screaming. Izuku saying, shut up and look. Because what he sees is Aerie's horn start to glow. Which means that quirk is activating. It's slowly... But surely she starts to piece herself back together. She brought herself back to life. And she stabs Chizuki right in the chest. Three times. And twists that knife so much it was like a tornado. And Chizuki is dead. Yes. 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 You are welcome. Yes. Now, when it comes to Grandpa, he is terrified. Because not only did his granddaughter kill a man, he knows that she has uh, a lot more experience with her quirk. And it's worse considering what she does next. She puts one foot on Chisuke's chest and places both hands on his head as she activates her quirk again you can see as each of the wounds start to heal or reverse as Chizuki has a gasp of air like what just happened and 
This is when she kills him again. She keeps us up for two minutes. And the horror on her grandfather's face is apparent. As he is running like hell, getting caught in a snare again. This time there is nothing he can do. As there he's like... <laughs> Oh, you sly fox. <laughs> you said traps? Yeah, I figured you two would have tried something. But, oh, that rock, I, I expected more from you, Granddad. Oh, wait, does this mean I'm the head of the family now? What? Does that mean I'm the head of our Yakuza syndicate? No! There's no one left! He... That monster just killed them all! Hmm. Not everyone. What? He didn't kill me. Yeah, that, that's right. I mean, uh, we could work together and take down this beast, and you know, we—I'll step down from head, head the gang and everything, and you can take down. Why would I want to hurt my father? As yes, this is when Chisuke slices the old man's throat, and blood rains down like a crimson shower. <sighs> Look at me being wholesome-ish. Izuku, he sheds a tear of pride and happiness. Nana's thinking, oh, thank you, God. Melissa, are we pretty much going to just ignore she murdered two people? With a smile on her face. Well done. With that, she's blooded. I wonder how she'll do against the Xenomorph. Uh, a what? Eh, don't worry about it. No, 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 I'm worried. Just calm down, woman. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's pick her up. Tell her to get her trophies. Huh? Oh yeah. If anything, those are our first real worthwhile trophies. Everything else is pretty much just practice. In which, just like you would expect a young Yauja, every rips off the heads as well as uh, the spines of both Chisaki and her grandfather. It's just as gruesome as you would expect, considering that she is still very young as hell, it takes her a lot more effort, so you can just hear and see the tearing and ripping of flesh, and it is glorious! Don't ask me why, I have issues. But, there is one pressing matter. How long is it going to take for her to truly become a full-blooded member of... Huh. I have no idea, but it sure as hell is going to be interesting when she takes down a Xenomorph. Especially with the control over her quirk that she has. Now, when it comes to Melissa... Yeah, she's trained a lot on Rizuku, Nana, and Eri. Because of Shizo and Toga, yeah, they're a lot more strong too. Because of stealth, they're still not as good compared to Rizuku. But when it comes to the clan of Black Bad Bloods, they, they have a lot to teach the puny humans when it comes to stealth and hunting as well as collecting trophies 
We see the pride in Izuku's eyes when Eri starts to show off her trophies. Alyssa, rightfully so, throws up. But Izuku just can't help but congratulate his daughter. But this is when there comes the radio transmission. Izuku is like, Big Mama. Hmm? Who's that? Oh, she's just a Yaja female when she is huge. Damn it. I mean, huge. As then he turns off the transmission and say, What? And she tells us, like, She's pregnant. Everyone looking at Izuku. Nana. What? Uh, why is she why is she calling you to tell you that? Remember, Nana and everyone else besides Melissa and hmm, Izuku knows about her. Oh wait, so yeah, you you bummed all these but yeah, OG. Didn't he? So yeah, they know, but he doesn't know that they know. So right now he's trying to come up with whatever excuse he can to try to remedy this. Cause he last thing he needs is a pissed off Nana. It's like, uh, who are you? Why are you why why are you telling me this? Don't play dumb, you know you're the father, yeah. Hey, can remember those scars I gave you? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, scars, you say? Dude, please continue. What What? what means scars? Like, Well, there's one, one on his shoulder when I bit him, with, as well as my mandibles. Really? Not to mention the scars on his back are claw marks that me and several others made. Oh! But I'm pretty sure that bruise I dealt him while I threw him across the room into the wall healed already. Well, at least it should have. Hmm. Really? And you say you're uh, knocked up. You're, you're preggers. Yeah. Yeah, we all are. Hmm. No, no. You can't really explain yourself, bastard. Okay, one of the clan members actually tricked me into doing this, and I didn't want to. I didn't know that the whole my dreads, my dreadlocks, would be attracted to. Well, in hindsight, I should have seen that coming, but I didn't know. I swear to you, I did not know. Oh yeah, we know. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we we knew about. All of that. Scarface told us. What? Yeah, he told us. He told us what you were here planning or on doing, or at least what he dragged you there to do. As in just one of the uh, Yajo was like, oh yeah, by the way, I left... My previous mate. Huh? Uh, wait, you mean you... Well, then again, it will make sense considering you, you decided to sleep with me. But still, you actually left that jerk? Well, yeah. From what I can tell, his genes weren't nearly as valuable as I thought beforehand. So, why not? I decided to choose you. <laughs> Yeah, I broke things off. Oh. Huh. Yeah, if that guy did not hate me before, he sure as hell hates me now. Don't worry about him. If anything, he's probably trying to find anyone who's willing to make with him. <sighs> Yeah, I think he's been hybridizing himself so much that it's 
kind of messed up or sad. I can't believe this. I'm gonna be a dad. And those are, are you sure they're mine? Oh yeah, we're sure. We even had DNA test. What? No, no, that's not, that's not possible. How are you gonna tell us? Uh, you know, we are not restricted to your human biology, right? Uh, we breed hunters and warriors. Don't you think we would want to pop them out as soon as possible so they could be trained quicker and whatnot? How in the hell are you going to tell us? Uh, uh, anyway, yep, just wanted to tell you that it worked and thank you. We'll see you again if we ever want to go for a round again. Don't worry. I'll give you even more scars next time. In the transmission. Izuku, he is pretty much being eyeballed by everybody. Melissa, she's... Okay. So that happened. As Ari says, she is so young. She's like... Uh... Dad. So, I'm going to have younger siblings? Yes, dear. That's great. Really? Yes. Seriously, I mean, God knows when mom, mom's going to tell you her news. What? No, no. Yeah, she's having a baby, too. Ah. What? Uh, huh? <laughs> hmm. Well, that's interesting. Excuse me. Uh, I need to excuse myself. As yelling, screaming, as well as things being thrown, as Izuku is both cheering and he was saying, "Why me?" He did that very well. <laughs> Ari just nodding her head, yes. She should have told him. It's like, well, uh, I thought you would have told him by now. <sighs> Harry, dear, you shouldn't have done that. It, damn, that's, that was very rude. Oh, sorry, I just thought he would have known or noticed. Well, just because I'm expecting doesn't mean I just give off the signs that I'm uh, pregnant. Well, you were his first, so... What? As Toga hears that, Melissa hears that, Shinzo's like, he's looking at Nana no, no, like, all right. <laughs> Seriously, his coolness factor just went way up. More than, more than I thought possible, ain't that? That's some awesomenicity, isn't it? Yes, yes, he can't deny that. Wow. Okay, so he tapped that, he tapped that, that, that. He's just like, I'm just waiting to see what happens next. Like, this is the best, greatest thing ever. Damn. As soon as he secret goes, but comes back, he's... I'm gonna be a dad. Does mom know? Yes. So she knows about Big Mama and... The, oh yeah, she knows. At first, she was a little like, what has happened to her son? But then again, she realized, 
it's you growing up and you have been through a lot compared to the regular teenager. Yeah. But then again, him just holding down his hand as well as Aries. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing. It being a heartwarming, wonderful moment. A very good parallel to the to the nonsensical violence. But then he, here comes the whole thing with Toka and Shinso. Time has passed. They feel like they're ready for a real hunt, not supervised, but no one interfering hunt. Is they're wondering, okay, who should we choose? Say, nope. If anyone's choosing who you hunt, it's gonna be me. You are unblooded. You should listen to me as your elder, technically. As they're pretty much pissed off, but still, like, okay, we understand. Now. Let's get to the whole testing thing at Majigger, in which, eh, Bakugo fails, but Izuku passes and he is actually allowed to at least go to the training camp. Only thing is, they can't really train a quirk, since he doesn't have one, but they do work on his hunting, tracking, Stealth skills and so on. When he meets Coda, he already knows something's wrong. He doesn't try to say hi, he doesn't try to be friendly, he just doesn't. Okay, this kid has issues, so I, I might need to give him some space or something. Him actually asking Mandalay as well as Pixie Bob, what's the deal? He hears about muscular, he's. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. As, yes, he walks up to Koda and swears, This man shall die by his hands. You know what? I'll do you one better. You can land a killing blow. And the last thing he sees can be your face. How's that sound? What? Yes, how would you like to kill Muscular? Really? Yes. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I don't know what how to really respond to that. Man lady you trying to turn my nephew into a killer? No. I want to make him a man. There's... I... As yeah, she looks at Koda. He's just complaining like, should I do this? Can I do this? I mean, he's just... He's just offering me... The person I hate more than anything on a silver platter. So was it, well, what, what should I do here? Mm. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't want him to end up killing anyone, but I also. <sighs> Okay, how about this? We'll bring him to justice. What? He'll face judgment just like everyone else. Okay, we can we can agree on that. Really? Oh yes, he will face judgment. All right, you have my word. I'll send him to his maker myself. Good talk. Is it going to rightfully so walking off before a man like can say anything else to dampen the mood? 
her knowing that she technically walked into that one. But also, like, I can't believe he actually tried that and just did that slick shit. But the hell is so not fair. But, you really think about it. How would this affect Kota? Having the man who took his parents away right in front of him, begging for mercy.